Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're out on the runway with our brand new uh, X5 aboard its carrier pigeon, as to which I have adopted a slightly different design philosophy, putting the pigeon underneath the primary aircraft instead of above it, like before. And as usual, we are starting out uh, knee deep inside the runway. That's a fun little glitch. So. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we are trying to satisfy a contract to get to 160 kilometers altitude with a space plane, or with a uh, an X-plane, I should say. And I'm pretty sure we have not tested with the Pigeon yet uh, our total capable altitude, but I uh, we did ground testing with the X-5 on its own, and got to about 138 kilometers just right off the bat, which is pretty damn impressive for something leaving the runway of its own power and then just going straight up. So we're going to get this uh, up to altitude and out to range, and uh, we'll probably be doing that in time warp. So uh, enjoy the scenery. I'll pick you guys up in just a second. All right, uh, this should be good enough. Uh, here's hoping, anyway. Uh, I don't exactly have a good means to measure any of this. Uh, but we'll go ahead and start our turn in, and then we're going to dive a bit, kick it into full burner, and then start to climb very sharply. Um, the problem is, with the air so thin up here, the control surfaces on the X5 don't have a whole lot to work with. So really the uh, the X5 is very dependent on whatever angle the uh, pigeon can deliver for it. And unfortunately, well, we're shedding a lot of altitude, but this turn is taking absolutely forever. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't like that very much. This was way more of a dive than I anticipated, so let's just go ahead and kick it into high gear now. Although we're well above Mach 1. Wow, we got way low. That was a lot of shedded speed. <sighs> A lot of shit at altitude also. So let's start to get our angle. All right, that's working pretty well. And we are go for separation in three, two, one. A little bit of nudging on the craft there, but we've got a good AOA. We're just going to run with it. Yeah, that actually led to a pretty good starting altitude. I was just riding now on the power of those two HA-10 mids. Which one exactly are they? It's not going to tell me. That's fine. Starting to lose a little bit of this angle. 20 kilometers altitude. Now, contract gets fulfilled. Should we put this thing to 160 kilometers? Let me just double check. Explain suborbital. 160 kilometer, and then, oh, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, and we've lost a lot of heading. I'm going to switch on our RCS system which we've added a few more control jets versus our test aircraft. You may notice also we've changed the paint job a little bit. 
and added some flat spoilers. Alright. Come on, Val. You can do it. Fighting against absolutely everything, trying to maintain this angle. We yeah, let's give those guys a bit more pitch authority. Oh, that makes things happen. I actually had that set lower for a reason, which hopefully will not become obvious anytime soon. Oh, come on, come on, Val. Aircraft is not responding as well as I'd like. We're way off our prograde vector. But we're high enough in the atmosphere now where maybe that doesn't matter quite so much. Alright, and craft has gotten light enough now that the RCS and vectoring is starting to have a much better effect. Oh crap. Let off the key for half a second. See what happens. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Come on. Need all of it in altitude. All right. Come on, Val. You can do it. You got everything going for you. All right. Apogee, 52 kilometers in climbing. Down to the one third mark on fuel. Sixty kilometers and climbing. Only a hundred more to go, Val. It seems we've pretty much leveled out. Seventy kilometers and climbing. Seventy-five. Eighty. Oh, baby, go. Ninety kilometers. One hundred kilometers. All right, we're starting to fight with the offset weight of the spacecraft now. One sixteen. 120, 2, oh, come on, come on, come on. 130, come on, Val. Come on, 150. 160. Still climbing. 170.5. It's going to be her total apogee. Holy crap. Arm or primary drogue. Holy shit. Val has officially crossed into space. <sighs> it is climbing near vertically over at KSC. Uh, everything goes well. She won't come down too far from home. Although I guess that's a mixed blessing because we'll have to burn off so much speed to land. And 160. She has officially crossed over into contract completion. All right, so now yeah, hit this button several times to open both the spoilers and drop the flaps to their fully extended position. And should probably just go ahead and arm our secondary drogues as well.
How's the view from up there, Val? Eh, marginal. <laughs> Nothing she hasn't seen before. Peeking out and now beginning her descent. So we might as well just hold this vector. We are coming down way far from KSC. We'll just have to see how all of this shakes up. Oh, 1,300 kilometers, 1,400 into a belly flop. Starting us into the dive. Alright, Val, start to bring it up. The more you can slow this down, the better. Although none of that is actually working. Jesus. Come on, Val. Oh. Oh, crap. All of our drogues are gone. They all broke. Bring it up, Val. Okay, made it past the hard part. With a good bit of altitude left, we might be able to bring this home. Well, nope, never mind. There goes all of our speed. All of it. Whew. That re-entry was a little hair-raising. Not gonna lie, that made me very uncomfortable. Watching those stroke shoots just snap away like that. I guess our angle was uh, a little steeper than what I would have liked, but let's try to bring it home. Well, the sad news is I don't think we're going to make it back. I will try my damnedest to get it as close as can, but uh, it looks like we're going to have to pull the chutes and ditch. Mm. Yeah, we're kind of walking right on the stall speed. But that won't stop us from trying, right? Uh, Alright. Easy, baby, easy. Yeah, we're going to have to ditch. I don't know if we're going to make it over this next hill. We will try, though. Yeah. Here comes our blurry shadow. I'm not convinced. There's absolutely no way we're making it to that runway. Uh,
Okay. Pull the shoots though. I'm not going to chance a bouncy runway or a bouncy off dirt landing with this thing, not after just setting a record and not with Val being our only pilot. So, we're just going to pull the chutes and let it slide on home. At least our recovery value will be a little better. We got pretty close. Not bad for a ditch landing, right? Alright, shoots are out, and we're down. Contract complete. Awesome. Alright, that's going to do it for us this time, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time.